Oh, udah start ya? Oke, okay. Assalamualaikum. And a very good afternoon ya. Yeah. Okay, if you watch in the morning, very good morning. If you watch at night, very good evening, oke? Okay? So, uh, today I will be sharing to you about lipids. Oke, okay? as you can, as you know, oke? Okay? So, maybe I will do this kind of uh, activity too. So, I will be recording my um, lecture and I will be posting it or send it via WhatsApp, okay? So, today we will learn about lipids, okay? I hope you already know that lipids are very crucial in our body, okay? Very good to protect our internal organs, okay? And whatnot. Okay, first, okay, let's get started. Okay, so what is lipids? Okay, so these uh, are the points that you need to remember. Okay, lipids. Okay, uh, actually uh, the, the word fat, okay, is a sub of the lipids, okay. For example, lipids uh, is the main title. Okay, one of the example, okay, or one of the types of lipids are fats, okay. So that you that one thing that you learn in form two is not um uh, it's not very specific. Okay, dia bukan yang salah, cuma tak specific. Okay, so in form four, okay, you will use the word lipids. Okay, so lipids are uh, naturally hydrophobic. Okay, hydrophobic means okay, still remember right in chapter three and insoluble in water ni that is uh, dah tak larut dalam air okay and lipids are made up of uh, elements such as oh okay so saya salah tulis tu kan similar element with carbohydrate which are carbon okay saya salah tulis <laughs> carbohydrate okay carbons hydrogen and oxygen okay maksudnya the element that made Uh, elements that pro, uh, that made uh, carbohydrate also similar with lipids yeah okay jadi dia shock sikit eh? okay tapi uh, to differentiate between carb carbohydrate and lipids okay lipids has higher content of hydrogen okay which means that Inside the lipid, there are more hydrogen compared with oxygen. Okay. Tapi untuk carbohydrate, lebih banyak oxygen. Tapi sama je dua-dua ni. Okay. Dua-dua masih lagi ada carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. Okay. CHO. And okay. Although uh, lipids are insoluble in water, but they are soluble. Okay. Dia masih lagi boleh larut dalam Uh, organic solvent, okay, such as uh, alcohol, okay, ether and chloroform, eh? okay, okay, so uh, there are four types of lipids, okay, as you can refer in your textbooks, okay, I bet you already did the notes, right, okay, so four types of lipids, okay, the first one and the most that we will uh, discuss today is fat. Okay, fats and the wax, uh, can't remember like wax, steroids and satu lagi saya ingat apa dia, tak apa-apa tengok lah buku teks eh. Okay, but the most important thing that you need to remember in this uh, 4.4 lipids is fats, okay. So fats, I think you can recall uh, in your form 2. Fats is made up of one unit of glycerol. Okay, this one unit of uh, one unit of glycerol and three fatty acids. Okay, one unit of glycerol and three fatty acids. Ah, uh, jadilah satu fat. Okay. Simple. Semua orang kena tahu ini. Very simple. Okay. Okay. Dan fat. Okay. Fat can be separated into 
two types of fats. Okay, the first one is unsaturated, tak tepung, and saturated, tepung. Okay, so what is the differences? Okay, okay you will learn later. Okay, so, apa yang bezanya saturated dengan unsaturated? Okay, yang paling simple kamu kena ingat, saturated, maksudnya kesemua bonds ataupun ikatan yang ada dalam saturated fat dah penuh. Okay, tak boleh ada hidrogen untuk ditambah lagi. Okay. Tapi untuk unsaturated, ada double bond. So, bila ada double bond, maksudnya kita boleh tambah lagi hidrogen. Maksud dia masih lagi tak tepuk. Kita boleh tambah lagi hidrogen. Okay, ingat eh, tambah hidrogen. Okay, remember, adding hydrogen. Bukan elemen lain. Bukan oksigen, bukan uh, klorin. Okay, hydrogen. Okay, so these are the similarities between unsaturated fat and saturated fat. Okay, although the there are differences, okay, but there are also similarities between unsaturated and saturated. Okay, okay, so these are simple. Okay, the characteristic of fat. Okay, both fats has carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Okay, of course, if they are fats, they must be insoluble in water and hydrophobic lah. Okay. And made from fatty acids and glycerol. So any kind of fat, okay, fish fat, uh, animal fat, fat from plants, okay, they are made from fatty acid and glycerol, okay. But different each fatty acid and glycerol, okay, ada macam-macam jenis pula, okay. Bukan yang fatty acid tu satu jenis je, tak? Eh? Ada different type of fatty acids and also different type of glycerol. Okay, dan semua ni dia akan, okay, uh, different type of fatty acid sila. Okay, different type of fatty acid. So, dia akan, dia akan membuatkan lebih uh, bermacam-macam jenis fat. Okay, ada stearic acid, oleic acid, semua tu kamu akan tengok. Dia ada chemistry dia selalunya. Okay, untuk biologi, fatty acid dan glycerol. Okay, dia tak, tak so specific pun which type of fatty acid. Okay, just you need to know that uh, fats ataupun triglyceride is under the name for fat is made up of three unit of fatty acid and one unit of gly gly apa class? Glycerol. Pandas. Itu dekat sorang sorang je ni sebenarnya. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, so these are the differences between uh, saturated fat and unsaturated fat. Okay, so as you can see, for saturated fat, there is no double bond. Okay, all the double bond between carbon and carbon is occupied with hydrogen. Okay, okay? this one is different. Yang ni lain. Yang ni tak apa lah, biar kali lah. Dia, okay, ni tengok yang color hitam je. Okay, semua tu penuh dengan uh, hydrogen. Tapi untuk unsaturated fats okay there is one hydrogen uh, no no there is one double bond okay between carbon and carbon so maksudnya dia letak tepu lagi lah maksudnya kalau kita tambah hydrogen so this unsaturated fat dia boleh change to saturated fat okay so you will learn more in this uh, in chemistry okay um, okay no chemical reaction with hydrogen atom Okay, can form chemical reaction with hydrogen atom. Okay, untuk unsaturated fat. Saturated fat, solid, in room temperature. Unsaturated fat, liquid. So, for saturated fat, usually the source are coming from animals. Okay, animal fat. Lembu. Kambing. Babi, okay. Unsaturated fat, usually coming from plants and fishes. Okay, olive oil fish oil okay cover so these are the question that they might ask okay they might ask they might ask okay for example give two differences between saturated and unsaturated fat so they are four points okay the first thing you need to know is bond double bond no double bond okay second is hydrogen atom can react with Hydrogen atom cannot react with hydrogen atom, saturated fat. Okay, the, the most easy for you to remember is the state lah. Okay, saturated fat, solid, unsaturated, liquid. 
and the source of the fats okay saturated butter uh, animal fat okay unsaturated olive oil fish oil okay okay describe the formation on and the breakdown of a triglyceride okay triglyceride is another name for fats okay and oils lah okay triglyceride sebab tu nama dia tri tri tu daripada daripada tri fatty acid glyceride tu dia punya backbone glycerol tu eh so these are the yang kamu kena okay okay so these are the yang kamu kena ingat okay formation okay hafal ni senang okay one molecule of triglyceride is formed when three fatty acid maksud kamu kena bagi tahu komponen apa yang terlibat dalam formation of triglyceride three fatty acid combine with one glycerol okay and you need to state the process involved condensation kalau kita nak form kita nak hasilkan satu benda molekul yang besar daripada molekul yang kecil proses dia condensation okay kita nak, kita nak hasilkan uh, molekul yang besar kita akan condense bila condense dia akan release water molecule memang confirm memang akan release water molecule cuma uh, bilangan berbeza lah okay tapi but for the formation of triglyceride dia akan release three water molecule okay breakdown okay breakdown is the vice versa of the formation daripada molecule yang besar triglyceride tu kita nak breakdown kita nak pecahkan dia kepada komponen-komponen yang kecil we want to divide it we want to break it into a smaller components okay for example one molecule of triglyceride is break down to three fatty acids and one glycerol okay if you want to break down a very large molecule into a smaller molecule okay the process is called hydrolysis okay kalau untuk condensation kita kena dia akan release three water molecule but for hydrolysis disebabkan ada perkataan hydro so kita, kita tambah add three water molecule Faham eh? Tak faham yang soalan Okay. Okay, next is, okay, these are the equation. Okay. Okay, saya tunjuk ni lah. Okay, kamu boleh google, kamu boleh search for a better pictures eh. Tak ada masalah. Okay. Okay, this one you need to, okay, 4.4.4, you need to write down. Okay, write and explain. Explain tu yang saya terangkan tadi lah. Okay, sama je nak explain. Cuma 4.4.4 ni, dia suruh kamu uh, tulis word equation. Okay, bukan chemical equation. Chemical equation tu lain yang kamu ada simbol chemistry. Tapi, untuk biologi, word equation. Okay. So, word equation, one unit of glass roll plus 3 fatty acid uh, ada arrow okay this is the arrow and nama proses dekat atas condensation ah uh, one triglyceride plus 3 water molecule okey saya akan buat untuk hydrolysis pula kan nanti hantar kat saya okey importance of lipids okey to protect internal organ okey ni kamu belajar form tu Cuticle made from wax in the epidermis. Okay. Kamu tengok kalau dekat daun-daun pokok kan ada cuticle tu kan. Cuticle tu pun untuk protect uh, apa tu. Supaya to prevent uh, water loss. To reduce silap. To prevent to reduce water loss. Glycolipid yang kamu belajar dalam chapter 3. Okay. To ensure that plasma membrane is stable. And cholesterol. Okay. For synthesis of steroid hormones. Okay. Saya rasa sampai dekat ID je sebab Jadi kodi ni boleh sampai 15 minit je. Kita tak boleh lama. So if you have any question, okay, feel free to ask me on WhatsApp. Okay, have a good day. Thank you so much.